Texas basketball legend Slater Martin died Thursday. The Elmina, Texas native was 86 years old. After leading Texas to their second Final Four appearance in 1947, Martin had a very successful 11-year career in the NBA. Martin is the only former Longhorn player in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Slater Martin played in a time, it was just a different world, a different America in a lot of ways. He was just the toughest guy you'd ever want to, to have on a court. If you talk to old guys who played against him, you know, they talk, they talk about him like he was a boxer, you know, like he's a fighter, like, man, that guy was nasty. One of the toughest guys you'd ever want to be around and, uh, and, and a guy you certainly didn't want to play against because he would get after it. Slater Martin is a really unusual gifted athlete who was not a huge person in size, but played big and certainly was a huge factor in all the teams he was a part of. That toughness and leadership was fostered by a call to action from his country. In 1944, just four games into his UT career, Slater Martin joined the U.S. Navy during World War II. That was not an uncommon story of our kids going off to war to save our way of life. But then returning to college as he did and leading the University of Texas on a basketball court, I, I mean, you would think that, you know, he had to be celebrated with every move that he made back then, but he says that it was no big deal. Everybody did it. That was right after World War II. Uh, Texas had uh, two great guards, Slater Martin and Al Madsen, and Slater really was a standout, even on that great team. He was just a great playmaker who could uh, do what was necessary to win. There is a banner that says, you know, Final Four. It doesn't matter what era it is. When you have a team that is one of four teams that's playing for a championship, it's important. His ability to shoot the basketball was something we hadn't seen before. He scored 49 points in a ball game. It's a record that lasted as long as the Southwest Conference did. He was a guy who was part of a team in the late 40s that was known as the Mighty Mice because they kind of just ran around everybody and went all the way to the national championship games. As a sophomore in 1947, Martin led Texas to its second Final Four. He graduated two years later as UT's all-time leading scorer. In the pros, Martin won five NBA titles and in 1982 became the first Longhorn inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. In 2009, 60 years after he played his final game on campus, Martin received the program's highest honor. Remember that will never be born again here at the University of Texas. Slater Martin was a great NBA basketball player and a Hall of Famer. I mean, that says a lot about a basketball player. You make it to the Hall of Fame, you're a special player and a special athlete. He's a Texas basketball legend, the first, no doubt. Slater Martin's number 15 jersey may have been retired by the University of Texas in 2009, but 49 is the number people most associate with him. In August, Longhorn Network spoke to Martin, and he told the story of his historic 49-point game. At the halftime, uh, the coach came over to me and said, uh, uh, you want to break a scoring record, uh, Slater? I said, Coach, Whatever you tell me to try to do, that's what I'm going to do. So he told everybody, he called them over and said, look, you know, most of you know I hold that record. I didn't know. But uh, he said, uh, we're going to let Slater do it. It's one of his last games. And uh, that's how it starts. And nobody shoots but Slater. Nobody. After Texas basketball practice Thursday, Lowell Galindo had a chance to talk with Rick Barnes about what Slater Martin meant to the University of Texas and what the University of Texas meant to Slater Martin. Well, Coach, you just look behind us and you see Slater Martin, the banner to recognize his retired jersey. What was your reaction when you heard the, the news of his passing? Well, one, you know, Slater was always very good to me, whether I was with him in person or talking to him on the phone. And the one thing that was obvious is that he really loved the University of Texas. He loved his time here. And I've told people for a long time that anyone that is in the National Basketball Hall of Fame separates himself from a lot of people. But uh, And he was a guy that obviously had a great career here, but what he went on to do was really phenomenal. And we lost a great Longhorn, but a guy, again, that 
truly loved what uh, this university was about. Well, it's been a while since his playing days at the University of Texas. Sometimes there can be that disconnect with the younger generation. How can they honor him this season on the court with the way they play? Actually, uh, Bob Ferry uh, used to be the general manager with the Washington Bullets. Told me one time when he came in to watch practice, he said, Slater Martin was a tough guy. You know, he said that he, when he showed up to play, you knew that you're going to have a long night because he's going to come after it. And if anything, you'd like to see our players mirror that because uh, that's what this program is built on. You know, guys are going to come in and work hard. And certainly with what uh, Slater stood for is something that we should all try to get done every single day, and that is to maximize what, what uh, talent that the good Lord's given us. Well said. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, thank you. Slater Martin went on to win five NBA titles after leaving Texas. Only two players in NBA history have won more championships without ever playing for Boston or L.A., Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen.